When you're working in a healthcare environment, everything that you do stems from all of your policies. At Methodist Richardson Medical Center, we're part of a four hospital health system, and when we are putting together our policies, we have to look at them as a system. Many years ago, our policy was put together so that we could begin supporting our breastfeeding moms in a very consistent, evidence-based way. When it comes to developing hospital policies, there is often a team put together to ensure that the policies follow evidence-based practice. We have a team of managers, staff nurses, lactation consultants, and physicians that work together to ensure that our policies follow the 10 steps. I think as a healthcare administrator, it is vitally important for me to lead by example. I can help provide the resources, personnel, budget uh, to support the training, to be able to support the total initiative so that when a patient comes to our facility, they're able to take full advantage of the benefits of the 10 steps. One thing that's really cool is that these steps all work together. So you train your staff and the staff gets these skills that they need to help the moms. They help the moms, then the moms are successful with breastfeeding. The steps are good on their own, but they're more powerful when used together. It's like a whole package. If you have every piece in place, it makes it a lot better for the baby and the mother to learn their feeding cues, kind of like dancing. It takes the whole team working together across the facility, plus leadership support, to put the policy in place. What Maria did in implementing this, she took these 10 steps, assigned them to one of the stakeholders, and those stakeholders then had accountability. Our policy is based from Bentop, which is our sister facility, and we've made changes to suit our needs. As the policies were being implemented, Maria would provide us the drafts and really ask us for our input. It was a collaborative alignment of all the stakeholders in order to make that policy work for LBJ. We couldn't have done it without our administrative team, and we are very lucky to have them. Maria and her team came to me with a proposal about two years ago, and, and I immediately signed off. I was already sold on the advantages of breastfeeding from financial perspectives, from clinical perspectives, and, and also from an evidence-based practice perspective. It's all about teamwork. When we were ready to roll out the policy and the steps, the directors from each department all put on scrubs, came into the unit, and um, they picked a shift and they worked with the nurses hand in hand to make sure that it was successful. As a public hospital, about 65% of our patients actually have no coverage. This was a huge opportunity for us to, number one, improve clinical outcomes, number two, help our financial situation, and, and also, at the end of the day, patients are a lot happier. It affects every part of our facility, not just the maternity services area. Even from the standpoint of our supply chain, we're able to redistribute the funds that we used to expend for and formula to actual other areas of the hospital and actually expand our care in ways that we weren't able to do before. The policy is not set in stone, it's a living document, so we make changes all the time. How you communicate policy changes to the staff is critical. They have to be involved from the beginning so that they um, are able to implement the changes that are made. The breastfeeding policy is posted at the nurse's station. It's available online for the nurses whenever they require it and at every training. We go over it. Over time, it becomes a standard of care for our nurses, and it's just a resource that they can refer to anytime they need it. There's lots of help from the Department of State Health Services. The website's fantastic. You can go on there and have a way to approach your leadership to sell the notion that the 10 steps saves money for the hospital, that it can get market share, talk the language that they understand. We went into medicine to help people, and we know that there's evidence-based steps that can improve the health of the mother and baby. You can do this. You can implement these steps, serially start small, do what you can do, and you can make a difference.